All right, now that we have our four pieces cut out for our drawer, uh, it's just made out of plywood. Um, we have two pieces at nine inches, two pieces that are approximately 15 inches. You're gonna have to make your measurements in order to know what they are. Uh, what we wanna determine is two things. Number one is which side is our good and which side is our bad. We can see that there's some cracks in that, so we're gonna call that our bad side. This will be our good side. The good side is gonna be the inside of the drawer, so that's gonna be the side that faces down. When we face this down, we wanna make sure that the bad side is up towards us. Now setting up the saw, there's a couple things we need to know. We want this to be just under halfway through. This is half inch, so we want it to be quarter inch or just a little bit under. So I got that blade set up where I want it. I'm gonna bring this, and I want my dado cut for my panel to sit in about a half inch from the bottom of that blade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this over, and I'm gonna bring this until I'm about a half inch to the inside of the blade. So about right there is half inch. I'm gonna lock it in place. And what I wanna do is on one side, I wanna run my dado cut through it. So I can keep my hands pretty far away from that. If you don't feel comfortable, we'll use our grabbers. The grabbers, what they are is they just, they have a nice little um, cushion on it so it holds it in tight in place and I can just run it through, keeps my hand a little bit further away. Hold it down. Go through. I'll do all four and then I'll show you what that looks like. Remember, I'm keeping the good side down. Good side down. Okay, when we come over here and look at these, we can see it's about halfway and we have a nice dado. So I have all four of my pieces. We're gonna bring them over to this table saw. And this is our panel that's gonna set for the bottom of our drawer. So this panel should fit in here and it should be a little bit loose so it floats. We don't want it so tight that it's gonna separate it. So now I need to measure the distance that I need to cut my panel at. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up now I want, this is the front of my drawer. The small pieces are my side, so I want the side to enclose the front. I want it to set like this. Not inside, I want it this way. That way when I nail it together, it has a, has a stronger hold to it. So I'm gonna set this one up. And you can see that the dado is at the top side of this, because I need to make some measurements. It's easier to measure from the top than it is the bottom. So that's where it's gonna sit. I can't guess on my measurements, I actually have to use a steel ruler. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide it on the inside of that groove all the way in, and I'm gonna bring it over here. And I'm looking to the edge is 15 and a quarter. So I wanna go about 3 16 past that. So I'm gonna go 15, and let's just say it's 3 8 15 and 3 8 and then I'm gonna do the same thing on the side. So I wanna go 15 and 3 8 by, so I gotta get this lined up, get it perfectly flush. Once again, if you need a partner to help you, it's easier to hold that way. You can go right ahead and do that. Got a flush here. 15 and 3 eighths by eight and a quarter. So I'm gonna do my eight and a quarter first. And then I'm gonna set up 15 and 3 eighths. Taking much off this one. And now I have all my pieces cut and we'll assemble next.